This week on The Choice. We are still down in Florida. They moved the tractor here, so we have a makeshift blind, so we're just gonna sit here and see if we don't see something coming out. Give me a buck tonight. Sage puts his binos up, that's a shooter. Sage gets him on his bog pot, he gets steady. That's the weird one, ain't it? Oh, that's him. That's him. Yeah, look at him. What do you say? What a hunt. That was unbelievable. This is a beautiful bear. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice. Yes, and we are still down in Florida. And, you know, if you saw last week's show, I, I you know, I pretty much cleaned up. Here's this giant black boar feeding under all the dropped acorns. I grab my traditions and I am out the door, man. He moves in and out, he's just feeding on all the acorns and he doesn't care what's going on. So we get on him and it goes away, walks in and out, in and out. Finally comes out, stops, looking around. <laughs> Shouldn't have gave me that a moment of opportunity. Got him. <laughs> That's a big boy. Oh, Look at the key. Holy smokes. Holy moly. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. That's crazy. Look, awesome. At, look at this stuff. I mean, look at that. Holy cow. I don't know if you've ever shot one like no, this down I here. No, I haven't. Big old boar hog, man. come around these palmettos and we, we could see a doe coming out and this other doe comes running out and we're like and Sage goes I could see him he's pushing him so sure enough we hurried up did a little bit of crawling got set up we got our bog pot up I got that muzzle loader up there and we're looking and looking <laughs> We're down here in Florida and I just took my first white tail buck here in Florida with a traditions muzzle loader. Oh. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? Shot him with our traditions muzzle loader. Thanks, Sage. Yeah, we, I gotta tell you, we had a blast. We are spotting and stalking deer here in Florida with the Kempfers. Yep. yep. While she was whining, I was swining. So he's still got on that kick. So now this week, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe I can get even or something like that. You never know. So let's just get going, shall we? Yeah, I'm gonna probably go, you know, check out the beach. You're not going to the beach. You hate the beach. I hate it. You hate Sitting it. Sitting in the sun. I would go to the beach. So you should just leave me alone so I can get hunting. I'm going hunting again. You got a great sitting bacon. Hmm? Well, what we're doing, like Happy said, there's really, we've watched for a couple times now, we've watched bucks coming out of here in the evening and heading out here. So what we're going to do is he brought the tractor in and we're actually going to use the, the tractor possibly as some type of concealment because it just seems tractors don't bother him. So sitting here, he put the bat wing over up. So we've got probably the biggest blind we've ever had. I'm still trying to figure out how to have the tractor run with the air conditioning unit on. Now that would be the ticket here in Florida. You know, the last time we done this, we were turkey hunting. And we killed them. Bingo. Let me listen. So anyway, we moved the tractor in and that afternoon, all intentions, Ralph's gonna go hunt this, this buck we seen. Well, plans changed. We traded up, I ended up taking Vicky. Ralph goes with Sage. So Hoppy says, Hey, Vic, I got a new spot for you. 
<laughs> I put the tractor out here where all the deer movement was. So we're gonna sit there and, and you know, possibly get you a shot at one of these bucks. All this afternoon, Hoppy and I are set up in our special blind right here, as you can tell. Ralph and Hoppy set this up earlier this morning. They saw a bunch of deer in the cypress head and the timber and everything over there, and they saw a bunch of does milling around yesterday afternoon. So they moved a tractor here, so we have a makeshift blind to kind of give us something to hide behind. And actually, I guess we're hiding in front of it, aren't we? Yeah, grass is tall. Dude. We're kind of hiding in front of it, but the grass is really tall, so we're just going to sit here and see if we don't see something coming out. Get me a buck tonight. All this afternoon, Hoppy and I are set up in our special blind right here, as you can tell. Ralph and Hoppy set this up earlier this morning. They saw a bunch of deer in the cypress head and the timber and everything over there, and they saw a bunch of does milling around yesterday afternoon, so. They moved a tractor here, so we have a makeshift blind to kind of give us something to hide behind. And actually, I guess we're hiding in front of it, aren't we? Yeah, grass is tall. Dude. We're kind of hiding in front of it, but the grass is really tall, so we're just going to sit here and see if we don't see something coming out. That afternoon, we went back to where we thought we needed to be. We set up where everyone kept saying, no, you know, we know where those deer are moving. We need to go sit in this little, this little grove of oak trees. This is gonna be where it's happening. We're in an area where we can't shoot does, no management plan. So, of course, we have a doe come by at like 25 yards. That pretty much figures. This is my hunting season. This is how it's going down here in Florida. At one point, I really don't think I was, got, didn't think I was ever gonna shoot a deer in Florida with my muzzle loader. It was getting close. They're up, we've seen a buck already. They might be on their feet. sun is down and we're out of camera light. Ralph, Sage, and Terry are on their way to come get us, pick us up. We saw some deer, had a doe close enough, but we can't shoot does on this property. So, we are done for the night. We will come back out in the morning and see what we can do. So, as luck would have it, you know, the next morning, you know, Sage, Terry, and I are like, well, we're going to go to the far south end of the ranch and maybe do a little spotting and stalking. And, and you know, they got, they're under the dope, dope management program, so we're like, hey, let's go get a doe. So as we're going through, and I mean, we spotted a couple deer, we spotted this real funky little deer, almost looked like he had a double main beam, but a couple does, never had an opportunity. We keep going, and all of a sudden, boom, we, in the corner of our eyes, we catch this movement way in the back. Now, we're expecting all the deer to come out of where they're feeding, heading to this, into the swamps for the bedding. This buck, he ain't doing that. He's coming out of the bedding. So we hurried up, hunkered down. Sage put his, puts his binos up. He's like, that's a shooter. So as luck would have it, you know, the next morning, you know, Sage, Terry and I are like, well, 
we're gonna go to the far south end of the ranch and maybe do a little spotting and stalking. And you know, they got, they're under the dope, dope management program. So we're like, hey, let's go get a dope. So as we're going through, and I mean, we spotted a couple deer, we spotted this real funky little deer, almost looked like he had a double main beam, but a couple does, never had an opportunity. We keep going, and all of a sudden, boom, we, in the corner of our eyes, we catch this movement way in the back. Now, we're expecting all the deer to come out of where they're feeding, heading to the, into the swamps for the bedding. This buck, he ain't doing that. He's coming out of the bedding. So we hurried up, hunkered down. Sage put his, puts his binos up. He's like, that's a shooter. And I mean, I got a buck. I don't need another one. So we're all of a sudden, I hand the muzzleloader over to Sage. Sage gets him on his bog pot. He gets steady. <laughs> that's a great deer, buddy. <laughs> that's one of the biggest ones I've ever shot. Really? All right, we're spotting and stalking. <laughs> with our traditions muzzleloader down here at the campers, Hoppy and that Osseole outfit. I was like, you know how it's gonna work is Vicky hadn't killed a deer yet. No. <laughs> we're gonna get up here, we're gonna be doe hunting, then this buck's gonna freaking walk out and then I'm, and I'm gonna have to shoot him. He did, <laughs> and I could have shot too, but man, you know us, this is about all of us, and this is the fun of it. I'm telling I you what. I think he's a giant six point. Buddy, he's a beautiful, he's tall, yeah. he's, and again, you know, we're from the Midwest, and a lot of people are going to go, well, that, those are small deer. It's relative to the area. We're hunting Florida, guys. <laughs> oh, that could be your best deer, really? Here? Oh, my. Good. Hunt, over 100. 100. 100. What? You got it? His horns. Right. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, dang. Look at that big old thing. <laughs> Here, give me. There you go. Oh. Is that your best six? That's my one of my biggest six right there. I'm gonna tell you, we are in Florida, and yes, we're you know we're from the Midwest. We're from Illinois, and, and you're you're like, that's not a big deer. That is a big deer. It's all relative, and I keep saying this to where you're at. And this was an incredible hunt. We had a blast. We're spotting and stalking whitetails. I mean, in look at this cypress heads, palmettos, and uh, <laughs> I think say you just said that's probably your biggest six, huh? Yeah, yeah, biggest six. Yeah, yeah, they're going on the wall, and now we gotta we're gonna actually hunt back because the deer movement is coming out of out of here and, and coming back here because these some of these oaks are loaded. I, I mean, I I ain't never seen a crop like that loaded with loaded. acorns. Just how phenomenally I made your belly crawl. 737 yards. That works out great. <clears throat> Stop. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go towards that okay. clump. Well, we are walking back to the truck because Sage just shot a great six point and we spot these does and we're like, ooh, ooh. crawled in between here. And we got her. We are bringing home meat with the freezer. I think we're gonna need a paddy wagon because mm -hmm. we're, we're filling the coolers. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Bites the dust. <laughs> Yeah, I figured I had to shoot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a old dove. Is it? Oh yeah. Sweet. <sighs> and again, this is we are always and have always been about hunting. And this right here is deer hunting. Bottom line, this is what deer hunting is all about. It ain't about that score. It ain't about that size. It's about getting out there, sharing it with everybody, having laughs, camaraderie. 
and doing true deer management. And we just managed to take a doe out. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you, Lord. So this last day we had to hunt with uh, Vicky. Uh, we started out the morning by driving into the, you know, into these hay fields and into the pastures looking for this big deer that Ralph and Sage had seen the previous afternoon, which was chasing a doe. Uh, so we get, get into the pastures. As Soon as it starts to get daybreak, it starts raining. And I'm thinking, great, this is just not, this is not what I asked for, this is not what we needed. Raining, you know, black powder, just it's not a good combination. But uh, our plan is, is to drive in, we're gonna see if we can locate a buck, you know, at a far end of a field or a pasture, put a plan together and put a stalk on him. That's the weird one, ain't it? Look at him. Oh, that's him. That's him. That is. Well, we just, we just spotted a buck that Hoppy wanted to get out of the gene pool. So we're backing up. Vicky, Andrew, and Hoppy are gonna hit this brush line and go along those palmettos and try to get a shot at him. He's a funky looking deer. After I shot, all I saw was white. Oh. The air was so thick, I couldn't see Did you anything. see him go down? Did y'all see him? No, we could see him. And then I said, they're putting sticks out. You, you know what I mean? They're putting the bog pods out. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, she ain't on the, she's on the gun. Huh? Lay right at the bottom of the ditch. Look at this. Mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This is where I last saw him. Look at that. That's a he big is. body deer. Big, big. Well, Hop, last morning of the hunt, getting ready to go home where it's cold again. That sun is coming up and it's gonna be a hot one today. <laughs> I can't I mean, believe it's been so hot. It is. The end of October. I know, I thought, well, man, this is Crazy. just hot. But this is, I mean, it was a fluke. It was raining this morning when we came in. You know, the and it's hunting. There was a rainbow. I have a rainbow on my phone. I took a picture of it when we started stalking. And then we so. spotted him. And then we spotted him, and he's just really, really unique. He's. You have him on trail camera, he's got this all jacked up here, yep. and then he's got all wiggly horns over on this side, so, big, you know what? Big body deer is big next body one. Deer. Getting ready to start rutting here, and uh, I'll bet, I bet he's 150 to 160 pound deer, so that's big it's a pretty good. It's pretty that's big a big deer, deer in a lot of places, yeah. so. Yeah, well, we probably need to get him loaded up into the cooler. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's, let's do, do that. So we've got, so does Florida deer taste different than Illinois deer? Yep. Why? Because there's no fat on them. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, this is true. Now so, they have a little bit of fat, but so we've got hog and good. deer going home with us. So that's yes, ma'am. Cool. Perfect. All right. Well, it's always a fun time with Ralph and Vicky and the whole crew when we all get together. We had a great time, you know, hunting this week, and it's kind of the. It's not the first time they've been down here deer hunting, but it was the first time they deer hunted during muzzleloader season. Um, and uh, a little different experience. We we had some warm weather, but. Um, very successful hunt, always good to see him. That was a cool deer. He was a really cool deer, old buck and big body for down oh, there. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, big body for there, yes, you're right. Big body for there, I mean, we're from Illinois, so we have deer big deer bigger. up here, big body sized deer yep. up here. But down there, I mean, he was a big body. They were all excited, like, look how big he is, the body, and I'm like. You know right, what's well. really cool? Do you remember years ago when that's all that mattered? 
It is. You're right. You know what I mean? When someone said, man, or, look at the size of that the buff, itself, the body. Or something, how that's where down. this should go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you, yeah. here's something else I learned down south. You know, like, you know how you say, yeah, whatever, you know, back home. People down south go, oh, bless her heart or bless his heart. So we want to thank you guys for making your choice the choice, and we'll see you next week. Oh, bless your heart.